are there cleverer ways of diagnosing cancer earlier? I'm Professor Susan Shorts. I'm a brain tumour specialist and cancer specialist here at St James's in Leeds and at the University of Leeds. And I co-direct Leeds Cancer Research Centre. What we want to do is concentrate on the areas that we know we can deliver on in terms of our common tumour types, some of the rare tumour types that we see a lot of and our building expertise about in Leeds. But also we want to concentrate on the questions that are important to our local population. So we appreciate that nearly everybody will have had some experience of cancer as a patient, as a carer, as a relative of a patient with cancer. And over the next few months, we will be reaching out with some specific questions to try and help you help us define what, the, what your real priorities are. A main challenge is funding. What we'd like is a much broader portfolio um, so that we can really explore all of the expertise here in, uh, in Leeds to help our patients through the whole patient journey, whatever their diagnosis is um, and whatever the treatment plans are. We're also aware that throughout the uh, cancer spectrum, we are understanding more and more about subtypes of, of tumours. And one of the big challenges that that brings is really making sure that we understand how we match the right treatment uh, with the right patient. And that's going to be one of the big challenges, but also one of the big opportunities. We've always been extremely efficient um, and effective at engaging and involving our uh, cancer patients in clinical studies. We're very keen to be more and more uh, inclusive, particularly uh, in some parts of the population where it's been relatively difficult to be inclusive. And that includes older patients. It also includes younger uh, patients uh, with cancer. There's also a big opportunity in terms of technology, in uh, artificial intelligence, which can be brought to bear uh, in many different ways uh, in the cancer context, including in terms of how we better interpret complicated scans, how we better understand complicated uh, information, how we bring together lots of different um, aspects of tumour uh, biology to make, uh, to make uh, sense of it. Funding from Leeds Hospital Charity has funded everything in cancer, from basic lab research to technology developments, particularly in uh, radiotherapy, clinical studies, which we're very keen to include as many of our patients as possible in. It also supports um, bereavement counselling and a lot of additional quality of life support for our patients. Funding from the hospital's charity has helped us as, a re as researchers um, and it's helped our patients. Are there better ways of assessing how a patient's tumour is responding to treatment? Is that by use of artificial intelligence? Is that by use of blood tests instead of scans? Are there cleverer ways of diagnosing cancer earlier uh, so that we pick up patients before they're unwell and before their uh, cancer's had a chance to grow significantly so that we can treat them more effectively. So Leeds Hospitals Charity has supported a early phase clinical study for our adult patients with rare uh, brain tumours. Um, and this is a study that was really driven by patients who wanted to know whether there was any truth in the idea that cannabis or any cannabis extracts may be helpful in um, improving how we do in treating these rare cancers. We knew that in the laboratory there was quite a lot of evidence that these sorts of drugs um, can help kill cancer cells, but they've never been tested. Obviously, we know that these agents get into um, the brain. So we've set up a study, it's the first um, ever, to test specifically whether um, a cannabinoid type drug uh, may help alongside chemotherapy uh, for these patients with rare brain tumours. This study is asking whether 
adding a very specific cannabinoid uh, called Sativex alongside standard chemotherapy, uh, whether that combination is better um, than the chemotherapy uh, on its own. So we're very grateful to the uh, charity because their contribution um, has helped us uh, support our local patients who want to go who want to go into the study who will then contribute uh, to the uh, database uh, across the whole of, the whole of the 